with carpal tunnel syndrome, one of the first things we have to understand is what exactly that carpal tunnel is. And what it is, is it's narrow passageway in the front of the wrist that occurs between two of these carpal bones here and over which there's a ligament that kind of keeps everything underneath. Now what travels through the carpal tunnel is muscle tendons and nerves and synovial fluid, which is between the, uh, the muscle tendons there, okay? And so what happens is when that synovium gets inflamed, it starts to take up more space underneath the tunnel. And when that happens, that nerve, that median nerve here, this yellow line, that gets compressed. And when that gets compressed, we start to see signs like pain, numbness, tingling, burning. Um, and in bad cases, we'll start to see weakness where actually the muscles that are going to the, uh, to the hand are starting to become weaker and they, uh, they get smaller, they atrophy. And so that's something that we definitely want to avoid. So when it comes to carpal tunnel syndrome, that's going to be what we're talking about is this tunnel here in the front of the wrist that's going to be affected uh, by the inflammation occurring in that site. So hopefully this sheds a little bit light about you know, the actual anatomy that we're dealing with when it comes to carpal tunnel syndrome.